Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 13 and let's play Earthbound. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, I got Jeff to level 17 and it did not take very long because the cave boys give a nice amount of experience. They also give you picnic lunches whenever you win. Every time, too, which is very convenient. Actually, let's take a look at Jeff's IQ. 17 is pretty high. That should help him fix some items. As for this little spot here in Stonehenge, this is a dungeon we'll be going to much later in the game. I have a feeling that's the case because we cannot get in there yet. For some reason, something that looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. And even if we had the pencil eraser, which Ness has, can't do anything with it, because that's not a pencil. Needless to say, we'll be coming back here much later. Instead, I might as well fight a cave boy at least once. Nice moves, man. Don't know where you're trying to hide him. No homo, by the way. This guy tends to miss a lot, but its attack is powerful. Yeah, at level 17 doing that much, that tells you something what I was doing to me at earlier levels. And you get your picnic lunch guaranteed. That does over 80 HP, which is pretty good. Ooh, Jeff is at 18! Offense 1, defense 1, HP 2, and that's it. Not a very fruitful gainage, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's head over to the lab. Might be a good idea to rest, so use this machine. In only a few seconds. Nice. Kinda reminds me of the Enertron and Chrono Trigger. It revitalizes you completely, but chances are you'll still be hungry. Goodbye, Colonel Sanders. Now let's get in here. Apparently I have to approach it a certain way. Or am I supposed to talk to Dr. Andonuts first? We will, I promise. Ah, there you go. Or maybe I just had to approach a certain pixel. Goodbye, I hope to sample your fried chicken when I get back. What happened? It's not moving? Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? Not sure if there's an actual controller or attempt to break the fourth wall. Well, I'm guessing this thing works. Yes, it does. Now we have to head for three. Clouds, they look right huge. Look at them. They're just like whipped cream mountains. I believe that's the town of Foresight, which is quite big. We'll be going there later. I mean, what's the point of showing the city if you're not going to go there at all, right? I'm going to head back down again, Jeff. We got more sights to see. Oh, there's a desert. Oh, that animal didn't make it. Monkey! I remember when we had a monkey. And then left to find a woman. Probably got ditched. Now he knows how we feel. Who knows? Maybe Bubble Monkey got lucky. Oh, we made it to three. Where are we gonna land? Okay, I just heard a bing. There's a circus. Looks like we're just circling around because we can. Are we gonna get a signal or something, Jeff? I think it's about to land. I don't know how much fuel this thing has. There's that dude again still walking around the house. gonna land somewhere? Preferably in a safer area? Or 
you could just land over here. Slowly, please. That was not slowly. Well, at least Jeff didn't die. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. A little? You crashed the thing completely! Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend. No. So, why don't you call me? Are you just making fun of me? This is just the way I am. Okay, this is one of those forced dialogues you have to say yes. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. Yay, we just recruited Jeff, and now we have a three-man party. Well, two-man and Paula. Jeff joined you. You don't say! We're still locked. Oh, wait a minute. Of course, Jeff has the bad key machine. And now the door is open. We can escape. Oh, uh, yeah, finally some freedom! Oh, God, zombies. I'll go this way. Hmm, what's in here? Teddy bear! I'll take it. Whose house is this? Oh, hint guy. I'll take the teddy bear, but I don't want your damn hint. Actually, let's look for a store. Because Jeff is really under-equipped. We're gonna need to update his goods. Badly. Okay, we're not going to the hotel yet, but we will soon. Wait. Is that a cat? No way, that was just an enemy. The handsome Tom. You don't look so handsome. You might look flammable, though. And now it's dead. Okay, so where's the shop again? A little more to the southwest? Nope, just a little south. Ah, I found it. Good. Alright, things are looking good. Only 34 bucks. I better withdraw some more funds. At least I have a lot. Eh, take a thousand. Uh, let's get you updated, Jeff. Hard hat. Oh, can't carry any more stuff. Actually, this would be a good idea to call Escargo Express. Um, can you pick up something? Yeah, do that. I need to make some room. I just gotta wait for you, because there is a couple things that I can get rid of. Don't think about me like that! Yes, I'll cover the bill. You can take up to three things. So with that, let's see, what can you take? You can take the bad key machine, we're not going to be using that anymore. The uh, pack of bubblegum. What else? What else? Uh, anything that I can get rid of that I'm never going to use anymore. Actually, I think that's it. Thank you! Now let's go back to buy some goods. Buy this for Jeff. There, now you'll look a little bit better. Please, please. And copper bracelet, too. Yep. Now, let's see. I guess I can have Jeff 
get rid of those picnic lunches and give them to Paula. For now, at least. What else can I buy that's any good? Uh, Viola Serum. I believe that helps with poison or sickness. I'm gonna give this to Jeff. It might be a good time to save the game, too. Though I could do that in the hotel for free, but what's one dollar gonna do? Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, where should I go now? Yes, I know. Uh, why don't I head south? Okay, nothing strange. Just a random tent. That's got a face on it. Go! And it looks like it's a boss. Boogie tent. Alright, I'll use my PSI, of course. You use Fire Beta. And Jeff... Let's see, I guess you can use a Bottle Rocket. Nice. I have a feeling this boss is gonna be tough. Ooh, okay, hurt the teddy bear. That's still very high. Okay, use the same moves except for you, Jeff. You just shoot. There we go! That was easy. Okay, now let's see what happens. Zombies! And they just ran off. Jar of fly honey. I have a feeling that's going to be very important, so let's take it with us. Is there anything else over there to the southeast? Nope. It was just a dead end. What are those zombies doing around there with a jar of fly honey? Oh god. So we got ourselves a new enemy. Zombie dog. On the dog. And Jeff, you help with the flies. Ooh, now the teddy bear is down. There we go. Things are going really well, as they should. Yay, Paula's level 20. Offense 2, Defense 1, Speed 3, Vitality 1, IQ 3, Luck 2, HP 8, PP 12, and now Jeff's at 19, Offense 1, Speed 1, HP 3, and Ness did not level up at all. That's sad. But, could be worse. Hmm, now what do we do? Should I check out the circus area? Oh, wait a minute. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You see at least one tent around, right? Yeah, one that had a face, and one that seems to be normal. And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked a mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any... Zombie paper would be very useful. If you've never seen a zombie, how do you know the paper works? You've never tested it on an actual zombie. I'll be calling you if you come up with anything else. Click beep. 
And how did you know I had problems with zombies in the first place? What are you, psychic or something? You so do not look like a pizza delivery guy. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was wandering around three. How does he know that? No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness, no matter what. Yeah... That's right, Ness, wink wink. I've done my duty and give you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. So what happens if this guy gets an order wrong and he goes to the wrong address? You still assume that- Okay, you're person A. <sighs> this guy's so getting fired. Or sued. Just in case they got allergies. You can do whatever you want. Just save my life. We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. So, you're going to use this tent as a trap? Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. Maybe a good idea would be to get get all the zombies into a single spot. Yes, this is my I got some zombie paper look. This guy at the pizza joint told me about a new product called zombie paper. Uh, did he assume you're a certain name for no reason? Okay, time to put this zombie paper to good use. Place it on the floor. And let's see if all the zombies bite. I guess we'll have to find out, but it might take some time. With that, why don't we go rest? Let's head to the hotel. Wait, I didn't skip the hotel. Oh, right, it was up north. Duh. Okay, we might get rid of the zombie problem, but let's see. I hope we do. I knew we should have gone with Chris Redfield. Happy Owl's Day. Okay, what's going on with the zombies? Seems they're all heading in the direction of that tent. Oh, I'm done dry humping this grave. You want to go to the circus? Even those zombies guarding that spot we were to before. Seems they're out of the way as well. Look at that, even the dog. Oh, so comfortable. Hey, Jeff, did you fix anything? No, you did not. Actually, it would be a good idea to give Jeff all the broken stuff. Because he's the only one who can fix it. Uh, let's see, anything else? I'll probably have to get rid of those croissants, too. If I got picnic lunches. The only time Jeff is going to be able to fix something is if he rests by in a hotel or wherever. Thanks for giving me money for beating up a tent and an, an undead dog. Okay, I think I'm going to start the video right here, and in the next part, we will advance the story. See ya, everyone.